A Stanley woman convicted of first degree intentional homicide learned her fate in a Dunn County courtroom today. In November, a jury found Ezra McCandless guilty of stabbing Alex Woodworth 16 times and leaving him for dead. Our own Katrina Lim was in the courtroom today when McCandless was sentenced. It will be at least 50 years before McCandless ever sees the outside of a prison. That was the ruling handed down today by Dunn County Judge James Peterson. It's a long time, but the way I reason this, that Ms. McCandless, if she does what she's supposed to do, uh, follows the rules, uh, that she at least has some light at the end of a very long tunnel. At today's sentencing hearing, smile. Alex Woodworth family and friends also spoke, describing him as a kind and giving person who tried to help others until his very last day on earth. The prosecution petitioned the judge to sentence McCandless to life in prison without parole. They pointed to the many lies she told to investigators and the brutality of the murder. They also say she put on a, quote, show at her trial, trying to play victim instead of accepting responsibility for her actions. State asked for life means life, no eligibility for extended supervision. Uh, just given the really brutal, brutal nature of this, this crime and her actions afterwards, but I certainly understand uh, the judge's decision. The defense petitioned the court the chance of parole as soon as 20 years. A number of McCandless's family and friends asked the judge for leniency, saying McCandless was a sweet girl who suffered from PTSD. They claimed the brutal murder that occurred in March of 2018 was out of character for the then 20-year-old. The Ezra I knew was kind. She's very kind. She's uh, the animals, the birds, the ducks. It's amazing. You know, she's a... Uh, I've seen her carry bugs out of the house where she... McCandless also addressed the court and apologized to the Woodworth family, saying she loved Alex. His father spoke with News 18 following today's sentencing hearing. He says he's happy with the ruling, adding it's the outcome the family had hoped for. The fact I can forgive her for what she did didn't change what I wanted to see today, but I, I, you know, I don't want to see her you know, dead or anything. I don't feel any need for vengeance. In addition to spending at least 50 years in a state prison, McCandless is also ordered to pay nearly $7,000 in restitution to cover Woodworth's funeral costs. McCandless will be 72 when she is first eligible to be released from prison in 2068.